Welcome back to my channel. I now have a tiny microphone and fabulous hair. If you follow me, you know I haven't posted in a while. It's been almost four months. There's a lot of different reasons for that, but without getting into it, let's just say 2020. Batman has awoken my unmotivated spirit. He has summoned and I must respond. There's a new Batman trailer. The new Batman movie trailer came out and I, I have to talk about it. If you haven't seen the trailer, definitely watch it first. I'm not gonna be explaining what happens in the trailer. I'm just gonna kind of talk about the different details that caught my attention and some things that got me excited. A while back, I made a video reacting to the news of the new Batman movie and when they were casting, primarily when they casted Robert Pattinson. The main thing I talked about in that was just really how apprehensive I was and I guess slightly concerned, mostly because I was just having a hard time picturing Robert Pattinson in a Batman role and just the prospect of making a new Batman movie and saying that there's gonna be three movies in the series. Because at this point, creating a new Batman story, really a new take on Batman is, for lack of better words, a big undertaking. There's a lot of expectations automatically that people want to be met. Um, however, after watching this trailer, I am feeling a lot different in a good way. Let me tell you why. So right away you can tell that there is a dark or serious vibe. The first scene is a man that's getting his whole head and face duct taped. Some people might have gotten it right away. I looked into it after watching it a few times. The duct tape man, well the one doing the taping, is supposedly the Riddler who I think is going to be like the main villain. The song choice is really cool. Kind of this like like somber, slow. I keep using the word dark, but that's like what it is. It's like kind of this dark feel. Even like the lighting and the color scheme and every shot throughout the trailer gives it this like heavy, intense feeling. Just that alone was a plus for me. So far, so good. We also get some good shots of some of the other characters, which leads into probably the biggest thing I noticed that makes me really excited about this new direction, which is all the little details that add more realism and rawness to the characters. So for Catwoman, we see her a few times and she is wearing like a ski mask, like true like burglar mask. There's like these little like nubbins from the hat that kind of look like ears. So it like gives that hint off. But then she's just like wearing a leather jacket and like her gloves, which leads me to another thought. The story supposedly is supposed to be the beginning of Batman, like the early years. So it also would be the beginning of these villains. So if that's the case, like Catwoman's just starting out, then she would just be wearing black clothes, like leather jacket and a little burglar mask before she gets like her fancy suit. So that'd be another cool thing to see, like not only the evolution of Batman, but the villains. I think the only thing we've really seen that in is the show Gotham, which is like truly the beginning of everybody. Another thing is freaking Colin Farrell's makeup. Hello? That is a different person. <laughs> I can already see some kind of like makeup award for this movie just for that. So one, amazing makeup. Two, that is the Penguin. He has very distinct facial features, but it's not like over the top Penguin with like the crazy pointy nose and stuff like that that we've seen in other things. Another thing that I was actually so excited to see is that he, Bruce Wayne, when he takes his mask off, has like the black eye makeup on. As far as I remember, there isn't another movie where Batman takes off his mask and he has like that makeup on. Clearly, like in the other movies, he has it on because when his mask is on, his mask doesn't go all the way up to his eyeballs. So like he has it on technically, I don't know, it's such a little detail, but it's like that extra level of realism that's like, I don't know for <laughs> any of the words, makes it more real. <laughs> I just thought that was really cool. Yes, I know there's going to be so many memes about emo Batman. I've already seen a few. I'm gonna butcher it. Batman looks like his dad took him down to see the Black Parade. I mean, yes, it's inevitable, but technically he's always been emo. I mean, he's, he's 
from a dark past. Another little thing. I can't tell you how much it pleased me when one of those thugs asked him who he was. He said, I am vengeance, not I'm Batman. I don't know how I didn't know this already, but Andy Serkis is playing Alfred, which I think is going to be great. We don't see him in the trailer, unfortunately. Uh, we just hear like one of his lines when he's driving into the Batcave. I even love the display of the release date at the end for the Riddler, but also because they don't know when it's gonna release yet. <laughs> Overall, it made me really excited and very intrigued. I feel so much better now <laughs> than I did before. If possible, I will definitely be going to see this in the theaters. So yeah, I'm very excited. And it also makes me more excited for the series that they're making. There's my reaction. There's plenty of other videos where people dive into the details a lot more by looking at character that got his face ticked up and then like newspaper clippings that are up. They all have like story points in them. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. If any like new trailers or anything come out, I'll probably chime in on those. That's it. I'm very excited for Batman. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. You can follow me on all social media at it's underscore just Caitlin or on Facebook as it's just Caitlin. Thank you again and good night.